Former German Chancellor Angela Merzik, German politician, 8th Chancellor of Germany, in office, 2005 to 2021. She became the first female prime minister in the history of Germany and was the person who built a long-term government for 16 years with the support of the German people for diplomatic response in the Euro crisis, the Crimea crisis, etc., and the maintenance of Germany's economic growth and sound finances, is the refugee acceptance policy during the 2015 European refugee crisis was internationally acclaimed, but domestically. Crimes due to the influx of more than one million refugees frequently occurred, raising criticism of the refugee policy of the people and in the German Bundestag election. He announced that he would retire from politics after his term expired in 2018 due to the consecutive defeats of the ruling coalition. Upbringing Angela Merkel was born in Hamburg. Her father was assigned to East Germany as a minister, and in the first few weeks of her life Angela moved to East Germany with her parents. She had very good grades in her school days and had the highest average rating of all her subjects in her junior high school, especially in math. She probably wanted to become a science scholar for that reason. She graduated with excellent grades in 1978, she got a job at the Academy of Sciences in East Berlin. And she began her career as a researcher in theoretical physics. Merkel began her career as a theoretical physics researcher. But why she became a politician is what motivates me to be interested in her. I am a theoretical physicist, a natural philosopher, and a religious person who specializes in space physics but I do not want to be involved in politics. We believe that the invasion of Ukraine by Russian President Vladimir Putin is unreasonable and support the Japanese government's policy decision to accept more than 10 million Ukrainian refugees in Japan in line with the G7 countries. However, I do not intend to stay in the position of a scholar or educator and volunteer. I am not a body that can get out of the laboratory because of cerebral infarction, angina, and cataract. The 4th of December 2022 I'm going to die on the day I turn 80, so it's my mission from God to finish my research in the time I have left and leave it to the next generation. It is a person who thinks. The mission of theoretical physicists and philosophers is to think in their heads and leave them in treatises. The lecture schedule for the first half of 2022 has been published on the web. And the lectures up to the end of September 2022 have already been completed and recorded on the HDD of the laboratory PC. Just uploaded every Friday at 1900 according to the release schedule. After accomplishing what to do, at the beginning of the second half of the lecture, I am thinking about how to think about Ukrainian refugee support from the standpoint of scholars and educators. For this reason, I am thinking about how to support activities by reading something from the achievements of former United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Sadako Ogata and former German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Sadako Ogata is also a Christian who played the role of a professor at Sofia University, a High Commissioner for Refugee Support at the United Nations, and a chairman of JAIKA. Angela Merkel also steers the philanthropic spirit of being a Christian into an energy policy of accepting refugees to Germany in real politics, utilizing renewable energy against global warming, and accepting liquefied natural gas from Russia. However, it is an obstacle to imposing economic sanctions in line with NATO. 
EU and G7 countries against the invasion of Ukraine by Russian President Vladimir Putin. For this reason, Chancellor Schultz, who is in charge of the post-administration of Chancellor Merkel, has reportedly switched to weapons aid to Ukraine in an energy policy that will gradually reduce the acceptance of liquefied natural gas from Russia. In addition to weapons assistance and refugee acceptance as major EU and NATO countries, NATO response forces are about to be deployed to the three Baltic states, Poland and Romania. But of course Germany has no choice but to participate as a major member country. There will be no. Germany has the trauma of invading World War II by the Nazis. And although it has refrained from exporting arms to foreign countries and dispatching troops, it has been forced to change its energy policy, arms export ban policy. And the Merkel administration's policy of banning troop dispatch. 2. In this regard, the government of Japan also does not dispatch troops overseas based on Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution. Prohibits the export of weapons overseas according to the three principles of arms export and relies on the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty to protect the U.S. military in Japan and the nuclear umbrella of the United States. When the government of the People's Republic of China invaded Taiwan naturally, Japan's Senkaku Islands will be frightened by the situation of being involved in the war. It is natural that the American people and the people of NATO member countries will not accept the selfish idea of seeking the support of the U.S. military and the NATO forces of European countries. Under the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty without bleeding their own blood, the fact that it is the only country that has been damaged by the atomic bomb does not pass in international politics. The shift in the German government's security policy to the current situation in Ukraine requires the Japanese government and the Japanese people to be prepared to protect their independence even if they shed their own blood. On top of that, the determination to contribute to world peace is blurred. It is being struck by the Japanese people. There is no doubt that it is time for the Japanese people to calmly and carefully watch over the German people, the German government's security policy shifts, and the energy policy shifts, and to change their national consciousness to protect Japan's freedom of independence. Right. The government of Japan and the Japanese people must learn from the economic and human losses associated with the suffering, decisions and executions of Germany and European countries. European countries have endured the poverty of their national lives and are trying to protect their independence and freedom even if their son's blood is shed. Only Japan cannot be in the world of Taoyuan Township. It can be said that Putin's invasion of Ukraine has forced the change of the Merkel administration's clean energy policy and the policy of curbing arms exports. It is an era when it is impossible for the United States alone to play the role of police and sheriff in the world. The Americans themselves are urging the current Weizen administration to see why they have to pay and sacrifice their son's lives. I think it is clear from the decline in the approval rating of the Weizen administration. The Japanese people must live from the fairy tale world to the real world. Putin shattered Merkel's ideal society, and Merkel retired at a good time. The Japanese people are hungry, prepared, how to contribute to world peace after accumulating their abilities how to educate the accepted Ukrainian refugees, make them members of Japanese society, and make them useful members of Japanese society. On top of that, 
I think we should think about Japan's role in creating a refugee-free world with them. I am just a scholar who has nothing to do with money or power. But I consider the role of Japan as mentioned above as a nation. As a theoretical physicist who is not a political scholar like Sadako Ogata, a former United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. I am fascinated by the fact that the former Chancellor of Germany, Merkel, is a former theoretical physicist. I'm not interested. For theoretical physicists whose mission is to evaluate things as facts and extract the commonalities behind mutual events, the study of Chinese thought, the study of infectious diseases, and the study of modern political affairs are all tied up. I am a scholar who regards de Chardin as human activity as a phenomenon and looks at human future in Kingdom of God, Space Him, and sticks to love, philanthropy. I think it's the role of, as the French doctor, medical scientist, and thinker Alexis Carl put it, it is exactly human beings this unknown. As in his book, it is my mission to think about life and continue on a journey to the miracle fountain, Lords. I will continue to walk on this journey until my breath is exhausted. And I will continue on the journey to heaven where Jesus is with my late mother. Death is inevitable for me and I have no fear. The 27th of March 2022 ENU Research Organization, President Professor Kubo.